Hello and welcome to your East Idaho Weather and Hazard Briefing for Tuesday, November 3rd. My name is Alex from the National Weather Service in Pocatello. Well, let's take a look at your key points. We're going to continue to see record or near record high temperatures through Thursday, but that will not be the case by the time we get into this weekend as a strong cold front will move through the area. It'll get into the uh, central Idaho mountains uh, late Friday and then sweep through the rest of east Idaho from Friday night through Saturday morning. Before that, we'll see a gradual increase in winds, and the winds will peak with the cold front, uh, particularly just ahead and behind the cold front Friday into Saturday. The other big impacts with this system will be the snowfall that's expected and um, also the very cold air that will move into the area behind the cold front we could see some record or near record low temperatures uh, just a few days after record or near record high temperatures now there's still significant amount of details to work out so the uh, the certainty in the timing location of amounts uh, is still low at this time but that is the overall trend uh, and at this point anyone in eastern idaho could see accumulating snow from late Friday through Sunday. Uh, stay tuned uh, to the next few briefings. We'll, as we get more confidence and more certainty coming into the weekend, we will give you those details as they become clearer. So the weather impact summary, valley inversions sticking around today, they'll start to mix out and weaken. So as a result of those inversions, we're still seeing some uh, reduced air quality. And we'll start to see some gusty winds develop Wednesday. There will be a few areas where with near critical winds and minimum relative humidity values, especially across the Arco Desert and the wind prone areas across the South Hills. That'll continue into Thursday. We'll start to see the humidities come up on Thursday. Friday, breezy con conditions everywhere. As I mentioned, by the time we get into Thursday night and Friday, we'll start to see some showers develop over the central Idaho mountains. May start initially as rain in the valleys, but that should quickly change over to snow across the entirety of the central Idaho mountains on Friday. And then precipitation should generally continue to develop Friday night into Saturday, possibly continuing into Sunday. So we've highlighted the snow and wind threat here on Saturday. Now, over the portions of the Snake Plain and farther east, and especially south towards the Utah border, will likely begin as rain and then change over to snow. But again, we will have a clearer picture on these details over the next couple of days. Satellite picture this morning continues to show high pressure in place over the Intermountain West. There is a weak area of low pressure over southern Nevada. That will do no more than bring a few clouds to the far southeast corner of Idaho. And we're starting to see the signs, the, the initial signs of the active weather as showers are moving into the extreme northwest portion of Washington state. The big cold front and low pressure system is not yet developed, uh, so we can't show you that, but uh, the general trend is for that low to develop in Alaska and then move south and east across us by early in the weekend. So uh, we'll take a look at the uh, minimum relative humidity forecast here for today. Still gonna be low down into the teens, particularly in the valley locations. And we can see on Friday how much those increase as the moisture works its way into the area. And maximum relative humidity giving, a good, giving us a good idea of where the thermal belts are. So the mid slopes still, still being plagued by the thermal belts and the poor humidity recovery, but that will go away by Friday, uh, maybe except for the far southeast corner as the humidities will be significantly increasing by then. Here's a look at the uh, high temperature forecast. Uh, we're showing you Wednesday. Uh, today's highs will be very similar to this. These are record or near record highs. And we can see how much that begins to change. Now, Friday will still be mild. It'll be breezy and mild, especially across the eastern half of eastern Idaho, basically areas outside of the central Idaho mountains. For this time of year, though, still mild in, across the central Idaho mountains. And this is why the valleys will begin as rain with Chalice in the 50s, Stanley near 50, Sun Valley around 50 on Friday. But don't get used to that. And as, as you see, our Saturday high temperatures falling some 30 degrees from where they will be on Wednesday and Thursday, and then falling even more on Sunday. 
There may be not a single location in eastern Idaho on Sunday getting above freezing. So um, these are temperatures more typical of January than November. Low temperatures, just to give you an idea of how cold those will be. Uh, and these, these could be conservative. Could, there is a chance it could be locally colder than this Sunday and Monday morning. But as you can see, very January-like low temperatures forecast by Monday morning. So to summarize, record or, near, or record or near record high temperatures forecast to continue through Thursday. Even Friday will still remain mild and above average for this time of year, but then temperatures will significantly cool some 30 degrees on Saturday and they'll continue to get colder. We'll see January-like temperatures move into the area for Sunday, Monday, p potentially uh, uh, through midweek as temperatures will only slowly warm. And we will see some rain and snow. There is the potential for accumulating snow for all of central and eastern Idaho this weekend. We'll continue to refine those details for you, though, as we get closer. So that concludes today's briefings. If you do have any comments, questions, or feedback, feel free to reach out to the phone number you see here, the email address you see here, or you can reach us on our social media as well. Thank you and have a good day.